anybody who's pitching this kind of like, I've studied martial arts for 40 years and I've distilled my knowledge down into this weekend package is bullshit. There's no way to take 20 years of experience and shove it into a weekend. The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Hi there everybody, Michael Valenti here with the School of Self-Defense in Indianapolis and in today's video I'm going to be talking about one of the subjects I'm most passionate about which is why you should not do short-term self-defense training. Of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever I make a new video. As somebody who is in the field dubbed self-defense, I get lumped into a lot of different things. Some people view self-defense as something that only women take. Other people view self-defense as a uh, thing that just requires a weapon. Other people think about self-defense as just purely being martial arts. And some people think of self-defense as a uh, short-term study, and some people think about it as a long-term study. But out of all of those things, the one that always bothers me the most is that kind of short-term study. One of the more common things I see in the self-defense world is somebody who is promoting kind of like just like a three-hour self-defense crash course. A lot of times people will take those courses or want to take those courses or pay for those courses because they kind of like, okay, well, I'll learn these fundamental basics and then I'll be safe. But that's not actually what's going to keep you safe at all. Short-term studies, whether it be, you know, just a few hours or even say like I'm going to do three weeks of martial arts classes, they are not going to actually prepare you for much of anything. Because self-defense is more of a reactionary thing than it is a technique-based thing. So if I put on like a short three-hour self-defense class, the way that I would have to do that is essentially teach you a handful of techniques. And I have an introduction to self-defense class that uh, businesses will sometimes hire me out to teach. But I always make it really clear that this class is intended to be the first step in a lifetime study of martial arts for self-defense. And in those classes, I will grab the techniques that I think are most important for that particular group of people. So for example, if I have an all ladies group, I will probably cover things like trap and roll and guard techniques and wrist releases and defenses against grabs. And then of course, tons of eye jabs because I love them. There are literally thousands of ways somebody could attack you. And in a three hour course, I will teach you how to defend against five of them. And at the end of the three hours, you will not be any good at any of the five defenses I taught you. You will be serviceably able to demonstrate it for probably about a day. Within a week, you'll probably have forgotten the vast majority of the crucial details that actually make it work. And by the, uh, within a year, you won't actually remember what I taught in that class at all. And so as a result, the, the class itself would be effectively useless other than its entertainment value um, or you know team building value unless you continue to study outside of that self-defense class so yeah taking a self-defense class as an introduction to self-defense and martial arts super awesome i love that but if your goal is to take that self-defense class and then you're going to be you're going to feel safe afterwards you're probably no better off than you were before you took the class self-defense is just like any other skill on earth it takes time to develop. Let me give you another example of how this could work. If you're old enough to have been driving for a very long time, you've probably had an experience in which someone almost hit your car, but you quickly performed a maneuver that prevented the crash from happening. You saved both of your cars or maybe even both of your lives. Now, it's not like you practiced that maneuver 10,000 times um, to develop the reaction time to avoid it. But what you did is you have spent so many hours operating the vehicle that you could operate it with that skill level. That you've driven enough, you've avoided enough slower encounters with cars that you were able to handle the much higher end fast pace encounter. If you think about you when you had just learned how to drive, you probably couldn't have avoided that accident you probably still would have been hit. And that's because even though you it's the same you driving the same vehicle, the time with the material was different. Something I'll say to my students all the time is that it takes 20 years to get 20 years of martial arts experience. 
Anybody who's pitching this kind of like, I've studied martial arts for 40 years and I've distilled my knowledge down into this weekend package is bullshit. There's no way to take 20 years of experience and shove it into a weekend. It takes 20 years to get 20 years of experience every single time. Whereas more what we wanna do is we wanna treat self-defense more like a lifestyle. I hope that you attempt to eat well to take care of your body. I hope that you exercise often to take care of your body. I hope that you uh, practice your you know, spiritual health and your mental health. Once again, that's taking care of you. Consider self-defense or martial arts to be a part of that total wellness package. In the same way that I need to eat healthy regularly, I should be practicing self-defense regularly. That way, you can hone these skills to the point in which you can actually use them. So that's why at my school, we focus on a long-term study of self-defense. I teach several different martial arts systems, but our primary system is the Combative Defense System, CDS. And its goal is to teach all of the fundamentals of self-defense, stand, clinch, ground, weapons, multi-man techniques, and most important, things like situational awareness, conflict de-escalation, violence avoidance, how to identify a potentially abusive partner. And from that well-rounded foundation, those basics, we then incorporate more and more and more advanced and nuanced techniques to further develop your skill, getting you to the point in which you have the skill of an actual fighter, but you're using the techniques that we would have in self-defense. Now, of course, if that kind of thing interests you and you live in my area, Indianapolis, all the information you need to sign up for my classes is on our website, theschoolofselfdefense.com. And if you live too far away to train with me in person, we actually have Zoom classes on Wednesdays and you can sign up for those once again on the website, theschoolofselfdefense.com. Well, hold up, before you click away from this video, a lot of people will comment on the video having not actually watched the whole thing. So I want you just to include the words punching bag in your comment so that I know you made it to the end. And of course, if you made it to the end, it means you're enjoying this content. So, you know, be sure to click the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. So until next time, everybody, I'm Michael Valenti with the School of Self-Defense, fight on.